the first session is entitled India and the Emerging World and it features a special address by Pastor Vasudev Mukherjee, followed by two important keynote addresses by Pastor Anil Varma one on the geo-economic dimension of the emerging uh, world order. And uh, first, in the session, we expect him to talk about how India can shape the geo-economic landscape its own advantage uh, by showing more risk appetite in economic diplomacy and encouraging FTAs with important partner countries. The second keynote address by Air Vice Marshal Gulani uh, will uh, focus on the geopolitical dimension of the emerging world order and how India can protect its core security uh, interest and harness grouping such as a court to promote its core interest in the international arena. The last and concluding session entitled India and Major Powers it includes expeditions by three important figures of the diplomatic strategy, Community Ambassador uh, Arun Kumar, Professor Harshpan, and Ambassador Mohan Overall, looking ahead, one can safely say that India's foreign policy under Modi 3.0 will be driven and animated by the overarching goal of making India a great power that can hold its own amid competitive geopolitical rivalries. Strategic autonomy going forward will be the guiding mantra. The conditions for the rise of India have probably never been so propitious. The world's fastest growing economy is set to reach at least 5 to 8 trillion GDP by 2030, which, is, which will give it more leverage to influence negotiations and outcomes in the international arena. Secondly, the world's acceptance of the growing indispensability of India in addressing and solving an array of cross-cutting issues ranging from climate change and, and sustainable development to terrorism and uh, cyber security. In many ways, the India G20 presidency raised last year raised the bar for what can be done through proactive diplomacy. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, friends, I am uh, pleased and honored to share that in this regard, uh, I have uh, we just published a book which I have edited called India G20 Legacy, uh, Shaping uh, a New World Order. This book comprises essays and commentaries by virtually the movies who of India's uh, diplomatic strategy community and eliminates the multifaceted legacy of India G20 presidency. Uh, it is now my honor and pleasure to request eminent panelists of the dais to unveil the book and pose for a group photo. You can get a copy of the book outside, it will be displayed at the hall. You can also buy it online if you wish. And after that, Professor Amita Patu, the SIS, will take over and chair the rest of the organization. Thank you so much. Thank you.